Hi, I'm Brian with Axis New England. Today we'll be exploring how to jog and teach points with a Denso robot. Okay, so we'll be using a six axis robot for this demonstration. To begin, you'll need to check to make sure that the key and teach pennant is set to manual mode. Then you'll need to grip the dead man switch and press the motor button. The dead man switch needs to stay depressed. Once the motors are engaged, the LED will light up. The next thing to do is to check the mode that we are in by pressing the mode button on the top of the teach pendant. We will switch the mode from XY to join. It is important to check your speed before making any manual motion with the robot. Typically you should start with 10 to 20 percent, but since I know I have enough clearance I will use 50 percent. By pushing the J1 plus or minus buttons we can jog the J1 axis in the positive or negative direction. We can do the same with J2. and J3. J4. J5. And lastly, J6, which is the rotary motor on the end effector. If we select the mode button again, we can change from joint to XY coordinates. This allows us to move along the X axis, along the Y axis, positive or negative, and we can also move up and down on the Z axis. Additionally, we can rotate about the X axis, rotate about the Y axis, or rotate about the Z axis. Next, what we will need to do is use what we've learned to jog the robot arm into the position and posture that we would like to teach as our first point. As a goal, we will try to bring the end effector near to the shaft of the gearhead. We'll stop at this point and select the speed button again to change to a slower speed, 10% or less when moving close to other objects so that we can avoid collisions. Now that we're at our location, in order to teach the point, we'll hit Program, Var, then Position, and scroll up to P0. If we hit Get Position, the controller will record the current position and posture into the P variable we've selected. We can then teach our next position, which we will store into variable P1. We can use the same method as before, except this time we will select P1 instead of P0. Once again, after selecting the position variable type, We'll select P1, hit Get Position, and record it into the P variable. If we want to test out our move path, we can hit Move within the Position Variable screen. If we hold OK, the robot will move to the highlighted P variable with P2P interpolation. This means the robot will take the coordinated move path as quickly as allowed, even if it requires the end effector to travel outside of a linear path. Linear interpolation follows a straight line regardless of the speed it needs to get there. Thanks for watching.